Yeah, exactly. Well, there's a big gap there on that occasion. You might, we, we may have seen on, on previous games, Shane Farrell might have been that little bit closer, or Jack, Jack Moylan, but he was a little bit over. He was left on his own there, wasn't he? Mm. J.R. Wilson now into Moylan, and Tariq Wilson slips. Moylan, Smith, Moylan! Jack yeah. Moylan's one now for yeah. Shelburne! Lovely play! Jack Moylan makes it 1 0. Blows a kiss to the Bohemians fans. Celebrates with the Riverside. And it was a great bit of play by Shelbourne. And as I said, Shui, that space right in front of the defence, kind of exposed again. Bowls fans are not too close. It seemed a bit strange because they. There was a big turnover of players, a few players came in in the, in, the, in the off season, but then more players came in in the break, and that just felt... Oh. It's a good play here. McCracken with a lovely save, sorry Stewie. There's a ball forward by Clark. Boyd does really well to win it in the air. And Brian McManus just on the pitch with the shot. McCracken has to make the save, we're going to see a replay now. Well, we spoke about trying to get somebody in touch with Sean Boyd, didn't we? And this is what happens when you do. He's done really well just to cushion that down for McManus. Gets out of his feet, McManus. That's a hell of a strike. Save. It's a good save as well. McCracken had not, hasn't had much to do really in the game and really kind of had to come into action. That wall to the left foot. With the corner. Float it in. It's a good spot for Mike Smith. Gavin Malloy strikes. Finds way to Shane Farrell now. Farrell whips it in with his right foot. Finds way to Boyd. Oh. He scored. It's 2 0 to Shelbourne. And it's Shane Farrell from the left-hand side again. The ball just evades the Bohemian's defender. I think it took us by surprise, Stewie, as well. Well, I was more focused. I think it might have been on, on Wilson. Looked like there was a bit of holding going on there. When, when, when Shane Farrell puts his back in, and he puts it into a really good area, by the way, because when you get defenders running back at their own goal, you're always going to cause trouble. And it goes into an area, there's a little bit of holding down there. I don't know whether it's Wilson or not, but I don't know how both don't go and deal with this. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. Better for Shells. McManus. Good stuff from him. Nice battle here between Farrell and Twardek. And Twardek's the one who comes out on top. Can he get in his right foot? He can't. Ali Coote leaves it for Levinson, back to Coote. Flores with the shot, off the post. And that's Bowes. <coughs> Real good chance there for them. McManus into Lonnie, he gets it to Malloy, who he's going to run with it. Gavin Malloy out to Sean Boyd. Back to Malloy. Matty Smith, can he finish? Oh, just wide. Oh, it was a hell of an opportunity there for Bowes. Oh, what a strike from Jordan Flores, to be fair to him. He's actually tried that a couple of minutes prior. Yeah, it's good play toward it down that right hand side. When it comes out from the edge of the box, certainly no hesitation, isn't it? You know, he has that he has that quality, he has it in his locker. Not He's caught it so yeah. well. When Clark has no chance. He's actually tried it a few minutes earlier, uh, Jordan Flores. And I remember seeing him, he was furious with himself and he still had the confidence to go and take on that opportunity. That's the danger now for. for for Shells, that goes in. That's good play there by Boyd. And it's a lovely play by Sean Boyd here. And he's one-on-one -on -one with McCracken. Oh. And he puts it through the legs of McCracken. And it's 3 now to Shelbourne. And Sean Boyd with it. He's had a good few opportunities to make it 3 now. And he's done it there. Intercepts the ball. Puts it through the legs of the defender. Gets one-on-one -on -one with McCracken. And that's the finish of it. Oh, a confident strike of Shui, it has to be said. But you know what, Adam? I was just look, he looks exhausted. He looks absolutely exhausted because he's put in a hell of a shift. He's played up front on his own for this all this game. He makes this his own. Great big player. long stride. Yeah, you can see there, gets the long leg, sticks in. And have a look at the stride. He just, you can feel that he may be a little bit leggy, but he gets a chance just to compose himself. Keeper, I think he's meant that as well, by the way. Just slots it through his legs. Just composes himself here, doesn't he? Mm. There you go. That's a hell of a goal for him. It's hugely deserved, and that's that third goal we've been talking about. Bowes have obviously committed themselves to trying to get a goal back, and there's always going to be gaps. Drink responsibly, folks. <laughs> Clark, it looks like referee's going to blow the whistle any minute now. Dan Carr wins the header, and the referee blows the whistle. And that's Shelburne into an FAI Cup semi-final 
for the first time since 2012. And they were knocked out by Dowsey on that day. Stewie could have a replay of that semi final coming up. What a win that is for Shelbourne. Yeah, listen, how would I describe the performance, I guess, would be they've played the perfect game um, from the very first minute from tip-off to the last kick of the game. I can't fault Ali and them. Um, shape, how hard they worked off the ball, how hard they worked on the ball, willingness to run forward. Um, it was just top class from start to finish.